Hello there, this is Neil Moore. In this particular video, what we're going to do is we're going to show how to hook a ProCurve up to a Cisco ACS server. Since I primarily came from a Cisco background, uh, hooking routers and switches up to the uh, Cisco's ACS server it was pretty much the standard place to put them. But now that I'm over here uh, working on HP gear, I want to be able to do the same thing with uh, different uh, levels of authentication. So this is a um, an add-on to the local username and password video I have uh, done earlier. So here I'm going to go ahead and log in. This is going to be the, the one we created earlier. Just normal like that. Now, now we know we're logged in. We're going to come over here to the Cisco ACS server, and that's really where all of the uh, uh, the, the things we're going to be doing are going to be done. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go into to, uh, network configuration. I already have a few of them in here from other things I'm going to uh, be do doing in my labs. I'm going to go ahead and add an entry. We'll just call this one Procur. And... The IP address 10.10.55 10, and we'll give it a HP ACS and we're going to put this one in the radius uh, I, IETF which is the standard um, uh, I always switch this to ASCII just so I don't it's just the one I use so if I ever have to enable encryption later I just do it that way alright we're going to go ahead and submit and apply this Next thing we need to do is go under interface configuration. Then we're going to go under radius IETF. We're going to make sure that service type for user and group is selected. Similar to this. Now once this is selected for both of them, we're going to go up here and uh, we'll just create a group. And we're going to just pick a, we'll go with five. First, five sounds good. Let's rename that to switch HP admin. Names uh, can be anything you want. And you can also tie this to uh, uh, Active Directory uh, using the external databases if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and submit this. Then we're going to edit the settings. The ones that we're really, the one that we're really interested in, is down here in the IETF, the service type. Now we have two kinds of service type here. We have the uh, the NAS prompt, and I'm not. Uh, it's just a little different than the uh, Cisco world, but the NAS prompt is the one that you would use for um, operators, and then administrative is the one that you'd use for the manager. So in this case, uh, let's just set ourselves for now up at the NAS prompt. So we're going to come in with uh, without enable turned on. I'm going to submit and restart this. Then once it finishes here, we're going to go up here and we're going to create a user. Just going to call it uh, HP Op. HP Op. HP Op. Right here, we'll set the default group to the HP Admin group. So, yeah, it's already set for callback to use the group settings. Uh, pretty much for all of them. Then we're going to head on down here. Everything else looks good. We, if we want to override the group, we could do that here, but we're not going to do that. So that's that's all we need to change to set up. Now the rest of it's going to happen over here. Over on this one, we're going to do a, we're going to define the oh, got to go into config mode first. We're going to define the radius server. And the host, the key, and 
we'll leave the auth ports and the accounting ports so at their defaults. And the next thing we'll need to do is is actually set the authentication for the login privilege. That's what actually it, that that this is the command that that instructs the uh, switch to accept the uh, manager or the service type bits that are set back. Next one we're going to do is the authentication for uh, Telnet. We're going to take the radius commands and then we'll go to local. I, I like to have the accounting turned on. Don't need it to actually do the uh, the login stuff but it's always good. There we go. Alrighty. Now that we have those commands set, we should actually be able to go and do a. Notice that the prompt changed there. Now we're there sitting at a, uh, a normal prompt. Uh, we can't, it's going to ask us for a username which won't let us into uh, enable mode or privilege mode or anything like that. Now we're going to just go back over here back to the group. This is the one we just created and we're going to switch this group over to administrative. Right here I'm going to submit and restart. wait for it to catch up here there it goes now we can't just go into enable here we actually have to exit and we'll come back in and now we are now at a uh, a uh, enabled mode see there it puts the key and uh, clear text and uh, the manager and the operator are still there in the event that the, uh, the server is down. Well, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video, and thank you very much. Bye.